Hi there, this is Miles from Light Harvest Solar. I wanted to show you my uh, backup solar power slash test rig for my products here. Uh, these are plug and play solar units. Um, we built this entire thing with pretty much what you see on this table. Uh, this saw powered all our drills, things like that. And this is pretty much what it took to build this. So let me show you how we did it. Essentially, we took um, pressure treated four by fours. Uh, we've got pressure treated uh, two by sixes and pressure treated two by fours. We used a uh, solar railing. This is called Sun Moto, and it's basically an aluminum extrusion. You can see um, right there, okay? Um, and we clamped it using these, which are called end clamps. There's four of those you can see. Um, four end clamps and I'll show you that in a minute those are mid clamps right here okay this is a four uh, I'm sorry two 345 watt uh, Solaria Power XT's and um, the thing that is so amazing about this is I've got a plug-and-play unit into this Blue Eddy AC 200 um, we're working with Blue Eddy to develop our own version of this product and it's quite impressive. Um, I've had it maybe for two months now and I've taken it on a bunch of pretty um, heavy duty trips and I've built a lot of heavy duty stuff with it. You know, let me just show you real quick uh, what this will do. Of course, here's a saw. That's not a huge tool, but it had no problem with that. And it would have no problem with any of the bigger chop saws either. Um, the amazing thing about this particular unit is that I have can put 700 watts of solar in. That's a lot of power for um, most of my customers, my general purposes. Um, and for backup power, that's pretty amazing too. So the three things that make this such a good product... Uh, aside from the long-term quality and a lot of small features is the one 700 watt input capability for solar if you really want to have like a tiny home or something like that that's about what you need to have um it also has and so that's a really big deal that's industry leading right now um everybody's starting to get their head in the game but it's one of the first ones that will really be able to use these big industrial panels and that's all i use um of course otherwise i would be putting together seven 100 watt panels it would be quite difficult to manage and uh, for a lot of different reasons uh so two panels is a lot easier and a lot better um this has a 1.7 hour uh, kilowatt hour lithium battery so the biggest and most important thing about that is the lithium batteries um they totally obsolete lead acid batteries their capabilities are orders of magnitude higher um this was un it, it was pretty much not capable of doing anything like this saw or anywhere near 2000 watts with a lead acid battery and still stay portable so the lithium battery in that is absolutely key 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 so we've got the charge controller we've got the um lithium batteries and then of course the 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter 2000 watts is a really good number we generally sell two or three thousand watt inverters that will do one of just about anything just about any tool uh um, an induction burner sometimes it'll do two it'll do an air conditioning microwave coffee pot toaster oven water heaters the essential things like that that you need and like i said with a 700 watt input like this you end up with a, a lot of usable power. On a sunny day, this will charge totally full in like three or four hours. And you also were able to do it with a, you know, you could input another 500 watts from a generator or uh, your alternator on your car or whatever you want to do. Um, so this here also, we built it using one of these two. Um, at the moment, uh, the AC200 is what will handle these two panels. So that's what we're using and taking advantage of that. This is our um, Light Harvest Solar 1.8 kilowatt hour unit. It will uh, do a thousand watt um, uh, inverter output of alternating current. You can use one of these big panels, which is again why we used it because it's got an MPPT controller and um, we, need, we only use these big high voltage uh, industrial grade panels that go on your house, right? Okay, so then right out here, you've got your... Um, alternating current in the back you've got some dc outputs and and of course you would just plug your solar panel right into here and you'd be up and running 
uh, instantly. Both of these went on a Moab trip to, you can see where we are. Um, this went on, these went on a Moab trip two weeks ago and all did great. They got dusty, they got dirty, they got beat up off road. They got pulled around and yanked about. And I, I'm not really that interested in um, anything unless it's really gonna take a lot of abuse. So, so far both of these units have done um, pretty impressively. And, and the, like I said, the ease and the cost are the biggest reasons why we wanna do this. Now, the anybody who wants backup power, like I said, this is really an amazing setup because it'll cook your food, it'll boil your water, it'll run your fridge, um, and it'll recharge fast. So um, that's you know that's a really big deal, and that's something that we've been looking for for a long time. Because of course, building a system that will have that capability uh, tends to be quite um, uh, difficult and require a skill set that uh, a lot of people have to learn, which is what we've been doing for a long time. But um, now that the future is here. Uh, it has become a lot less expensive and a lot easier and the capabilities are pretty similar but um, I think that ultimately the reliability is going to be a lot higher on these units because um, we don't have to rely on the variability of people's skill in order to um, you know for, for uh, having a nice reliable system so anyway this is going to turn a little bit towards the sun we're going to uh, wire this up a little uh, you know secure the wires and things like that but for the most part we are done and this is producing and um, quite impressive I saw 600 watts this morning of course the panels are dirty I tend to I tend to keep stuff dirty so that I can test its um, longevity and quality and things like that so anyway um, oh let me do one quick like I said uh, two by sixes four by fours Here's the back, these wires are all need to be secured, but you can see what I did here, here. These lag bolts. Okay, these wires will absolutely be secured. I just am gonna move it so you won't be able to see it anymore. Um, so you can see how I built that thing, and of course it's a nice little shelter for maybe I'll enclose it or whatever I want to do. Um, let me just do one little thing and show you um, Let's see, this is a mid clamp that clamps the solar panels down. This little um, bolt goes in the channel. Okay, same thing here. It's a T-bolt that goes in the channel. And uh, these are the lag bolts. This is a quarter inch lag bolt. The washer, uh, I think that's a 5 16 lag bolt. Uh, and that's what I used to put the whole thing together. And like I said, the entire thing was built using solar power and using the uh, solar generators. So that is the capability of these things. And um, there you have it. Thanks a lot, Miles, Light Harvest Solar.